stuck in a rut with your Portuguese, feeling like your pronunciation sucks and that you're never going to learn all of the vocabulary and the grammar that you need? Well, you can stop beating yourself up because today I have a strategy that is not only going to bring the fun back into Portuguese learning, but is also going to do wonders for our pronunciation, vocabulary and even help you memorise some very difficult grammar rules. I am, of course, talking about Portuguese music. Now, there's a reason why studying Portuguese music is going to also help you learn the language. When you think about it, both music and a language have a rhythm. They have a melody, a pitch, a tempo. This is what linguists call prosody. So listening to music and mimicking what you hear is a really effective way to start to lose your own accent and really step into the rhythm of the way a Portuguese person would speak. I've already explained in this video over here that I will link in the description that Portuguese is a stress-timed language. So I'm often asked, how am I going to know where I should be placing the stress within a sentence? Well, music is going to help. Not only that, using music tricks our brain into thinking that we're not actually working that hard. Students often tell me they feel like they've hit a bit of a wall with their Portuguese and don't know how to keep up with their studies, especially if they are outside of Portugal. I've also made a whole video on that as well over here, but my main piece of advice is stop taking it so seriously and have some fun with it. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Portuguese music as a highly effective study tool. Give this video a like if you're ready to get started and hit subscribe and stick around if you want more tips and tutorials for improving your European Portuguese. So the app I'm going to show you today is my absolute favourite and it's what I always recommend to my students when they first get started inside the Portuguese Pro program when we're first working on perfecting our Portuguese pronunciation. It's called Lyrics Training on desktop but now the mobile app is called Lingo Clip for some reason but I find the desktop one easier to use so let's get into my computer and show you how it works. So if you go to lyricstraining.com, you'll be taken to this window and you're just going to click go to web. But of course, you can download this as an app on your phone where you'll have slightly different uh, games you can play on it. OK, so just to show you on the desktop then how it would work. All right. So you can see that I have clicked up here that I'm learning Portuguese. So it's going to recommend me new videos up here. Now, the cool thing about lyrics training is that it gives us options in European Portuguese. If you check down here, you can see the Portugal flag, but also we have examples of Brazilian Portuguese. So it will recommend some up here, but if I have an artist that I know I like, I could also search for somebody. I'm going to search for Sara Tavares because I know that I like her. And then it's going to give me options here. Oh, Hercules, amazing. <laughs> so um, this song, Coisas Bonitas, is a really lovely and nice slow song. So a really good one to start with. But let's click on this as an example. So I could either play a fill the gaps exercise where they take out some random words and I have to put them in. But that might be a little bit difficult for you right at the very beginning. So what you can also do is click over here to karaoke. And what it's going to do is it's going to show you the lyrics at the same time that the song is playing. So let's take a look at that. It takes a bit to get started, so let's just bring it forward. So you can see how this is a really fun way to look at words written down but have but hear them at the same time all right so it's not only gonna uh, bring you into contact with portuguese culture where you're going to hear some really nice music but really help your pronunciation at the same time you are going to have so much fun with this app but don't forget to give your study sessions a little bit of structure there are three things that i want you to focus on when you are breaking down a new song the first thing is of course pronunciation this is going to be such a great way for you to be copying what you are hearing and saying it out loud, trying to 
mimic as closely as possible the way the singer is saying it. Now, a little word of warning, sometimes in songs, uh, singers are gonna kind of drop off syllables or elongate syllables sometime so they can fit in with the melody of the music. So do watch out for that and make sure if you can, that you're using songs that are as close to the spoken word as possible, as we recommended in that clip. If your pronunciation in Portuguese needs some work, then you definitely need to check out my free pronunciation guide. I'm going to link it in the description. We go through seven of the most difficult sounds to pronounce in Portuguese, and it also has an audio track for helping you get it perfect. So definitely go download that if you haven't already. The second thing I want you to be focusing on is vocabulary. But again, a couple of words of warning. Number one, don't try and look up every single word in the song. First of all, you're never gonna remember them. And second of all, a lot of the words in the song might not be useful for your day-to-day -day life. So as always, I really, really recommend that you are only choosing vocabulary to memorize that you know that you're going to be using on a regular basis. So within one song, I might recommend memorizing, say, 10 to 15 words that you think are gonna be useful, or maybe even less or even more. You know better than anyone how much your brain can cope with at one time. The third thing I want you to look out for are some grammar structures. Perhaps you have been learning things in your grammar lessons and you're seeing them now come up in this song. So what is really great about this, music gets stuck in your head, right? And it's easier for us to remember and recite. So if you have noticed that some difficult prepositions, for example, have come up in this song, you can make sure that you are memorizing the particular verse of this song so that you can always go back and remember how that particular grammar rule works. This is something that I have done so much in my lifetime. I've kind of rewound songs in my head to remember when certain grammar rules were used. I can highly recommend this as a strategy. If you are a pen and paper person, you might want to print out the lyrics and then use a different colored pen to be highlighting words you want to practice the pronunciation of, words that you want to memorize in your vocabulary list, and grammar rules that you want to memorize as well. And this can go in your language learning folder and go on to be a really great resource for you to keep looking back at. So I hope you have a ton of fun with this and that you can really hear that you are starting to improve your Portuguese, getting into that rhythm of the way that they speak. If you find some songs or artists that you're particularly enjoying, let us know in the comments who it is and what the songs are so that the rest of the community can learn as well. I'll be back next week with more tips and tutorials to improve your confidence and conversation skills in European Portuguese. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss a thing. Ciao for now.